Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make pop-up hearts with a raised banner at the front, like this. So it's a really nice dimensional card. I've obviously made it for Valentine's Day because that's the next holiday coming up. But this is great for weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, engagements, all that kind of thing. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it. There's no dies or anything needed. I'm just going to show you how to do it by hand. And it's really simple to do. And let's get started. Right, thanks everyone that has liked, subscribed and shared my channel. I really do appreciate it. And what we're going to do first of all is there's not many pieces to this. So base card, this little one is just a US letter, of, you know, like your five and a half by four and a quarter folded that's what the measurement is folded so you can make it that small but this will all fit inside of a seven by five a six by six square all sorts of things so it's really good because you can put it in a bigger card this is going to be a seven by five card blank um but like i say any size card really it can fit in but not much smaller you could probably get away with a six by four um in england that's our smallest sort of card we tend to make so you're going to need some strips now i'm using different color strips i would use the same just as it shows up so i would use the same size uh, sorry same color as what your card base is for these two strips okay so if you're using a cream base or pattern base like i did then use the pattern so these are just three inches long by half inch wide okay that's all they are so it's just two of those and then you've got an 8 by 4 piece of card. So 8 that way, by 4 that way. Score it in half at 4. So you've just got that. Like that. And then just a strip. This is for the banner. So you just need enough room to make your banner and your towel. So it doesn't need to be this wide. This one's 2 and a quarter by 4. It doesn't need to be that big. Um, but once you've drawn the banner, I would recommend the first time you do it and you're happy with it, cut it out and keep it as a template. You just draw around it and you haven't got to do any more drawing. But it's really simple to do, um, like I say, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So there's not many things to score. Hopefully I can get more done in one go, but you know what I'm like. I'll probably have to get the scoreboard back out again. So from the fold being nearest you, so you can mark this with a pen as well, you're just going to do a one and a quarter mark. There. Now, I always use a scoreboard, but you're not going to be able to see that. So, I'm just using my scoreboard as a ruler, really. So, just one and a quarter from that bottom edge. And then with the fold on a line, so obviously you can just use a ruler and draw this if you want, if you're just going to be doing it for the first time. So, I've made a score line like that down through the center. I'm going to flip it over. You can see that it's on the other side, so you know where to go. You can see the score. Well, I can see the score line. And you just go back down through there so what we've done effectively is just drawn from here from this bottom point we've gone all the way along here so you've got this like v shape like a shallow v shape going along the bottom there now <clears throat> that one's going to get folded up we'll do all the folds in a minute actually so let's just take these three inch strips and all you're going to do is score it now you need half an inch and one inch from each end which will make half one two two and a half if you don't want to work it out so it's just half inch going to reinforce those like that do the same again on this one so this just raises the banner off the page half one two two and a half so just move those out of the way and hopefully i'm done with that but you know me never say never so with this section here we'll do this first we're going to fold those v shapes up and away and then we're going to fold them back the other way this is the mechanism that makes the hearts pop and the hearts are just going to be on here they're just all one thing so really simple to do now what i like to do you don't need to do this i don't know really why i do it but i do so i will do what i normally do <laughs> you just cut alongside like quarter of an inch <laughs> you could do it wonky if you like that's fine just take those tabs off because they're going to be your tabs but they're not all staying anyway so don't i don't know why i do that like i say it's not really that important now what you want to do is you're going to draw a heart now it's really simple to draw a heart it is basically just a point coming up and a curve like this so this is it this movement here is it now make this your template and then draw around it for the second one 
so first of all we're going to do and come out to about halfway if not a bit further okay for your big heart so you're going to come out like this and then come down like that and then you can just sketch around like this until you're happy with the um, shape of the heart that you've got I'm going to make it a bit thicker for you so you just go like this all the way around and come down straight that's probably going to be straight so I'm just going to and you can see how rough it is and this is literally how I did it okay so you've got half a heart you've only got to draw half a heart then this score line that we did here you don't want to draw your other heart nearest that but you do want your heart to be nearer this edge the small heart so if you look at that you sort of think halfway is about there so that's where you want to make it like your letter m shape like this yes yeah, so the top of your heart is like two half circles now if you've got dies or anything like that and you want or you've got punches and you want to use a, a definite heart shape and not draw your own then that's fine and it's okay for this to overlap to get a nice shaped heart down here and then this will not so you want to make sure that's kind of so we need to come in a bit like that and then these will just be the tab so that is all that you're going to have left as a tab so when you cut this out you're just going to go straight up there like this now don't forget you can change this shape so even when it's cut out you can change it this is just a rough guide to get you to your heart shape that you're desiring hearts desired oh Oh, I sound like a princess. My heart's desire. But, oh, I've obviously watched too many princess movies in my life. <laughs> and then up there like that. You can see I'm doing this really rough. Because I just want to show you how you can adjust it. Now, the best thing to do is turn it inside out. And you can see we've got, you know, you could get away with that. And you can see how rough that looked on the back. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty shocking. But... What you can do then is when you've got it around this way, you're not being see you're not seeing the shape so much of what you did draw, and you can just go back in. I can see that that is a little bit higher than that one, so we can cut that down like that. And then you've got your template. Once you're happy, obviously there's a little bit of a square edge there, so cut that off before you draw around it. So the one I was happy with was this one. So then I just took my folded um, paper. Let's just use a card blank. And I just laid that. First of all, make your score. So do that diagonal score so you've got that shape. And then you just lay this against that diagonal score. So once you've got your diagonal score on there, let's just do a faux one. I'm not going to measure it properly. It'd be about there. So what you would do is then draw around here like this and then cut it out, just basically what we just did. But have that um, V score in there first. So obviously we've got this, I've got a smoother one that I drew earlier and this is the yellow one that I drew around. So really easy to do, just get that 4x8 piece of card and pop that in. So that is your hearts done. Now the next thing to talk about is if you want to do like I did inside of mine, I did like a little layer, so a little matte and layer. Now what you need to do then is once you're happy, let's get the heart in, with the shape you've got, fold one of these hearts in half or alternatively just draw inside of one of your hearts so the heart that you were happy with just make a border like this and again you can see I'm doing that very roughly like feathery almost just to try and catch that gap that I want through it and then you're just going to go around now the other thing to think about when you're doing these mats and layers is one side of your heart is going to be different to the other on these outer pieces so when you cut out onto pattern paper so now what you would do is cut this out so then you've got your template so you just cut this out it's always good to have these templates and then mark them what they are you can see there we've got that and the only reason I'm cutting that out is just to show you when you've got your pattern paper. So let's pretend this is pattern paper. You'd put your heart on that way and draw around it and cut it out. And then you'd flip it and draw out the other one. And they'll have one for each side that would be right. Because you've cut it in half initially. So they are the same. But that side of that heart is going to be different to that side of that heart. So that's how we do the mats in layers. 
and then we've got our piece to go inside the card and you can see I've got drawing mark on there but it's going to be at the back so it won't show it's going to go like that and it's up to you how much it goes like that inside of the card so now we'll do our little straps for our banner so all you need to do with these is just fold them like so just get the crease lines folded get them done and then this one one like so and what you're going to do is you're going to put them together but the bottom ones you're not going to glue it's the next section so either side of the inch so you've got your two half inches just glue this one and this one next to the sides just going to put a dab of glue on there I've got a better glue pot than that let's fill up so it'll be a bit quicker let's get that one I want it to come in to an end so I just spun that round in I <laughs> so just that section so we're only doing that second section there like that and we're going to put that next to so you can line them up second section there now the important part are that these two pieces are level so get those two level but level I mean that way Okay, because that's where your banner's going to sit. So you don't want them to be at different heights. Now these two wings come out like this. So we've got like a, a Y shape now. We'll put it on a stand. It can be whatever your imagination wants. These are going to come round and glue these two bases. With, these two little half inches will glue inside the card. So if you fold them flat for now like this and check that they're not clashing with each other, overlapping each other, because then you'll have bulk in your card that you don't need. Just get them straight as well. Reinforce those creases. So I'm just flipping it over just to make sure that when they're folded around like that, that then they're not touching. If they are, just snip a little bit of one of the sides off, but they're fine. So we've got that like that. So that's going to be our banner that goes inside. Uh, sorry, the banner holder or floater or I don't know the names. I made it up. <laughs> Then for this piece, you're going to draw a banner. Now, obviously, you want your banner to be wider than that. So you can put that on there. By you know, It's only got to be one inch, but you'll have it longer than that anyway. But what I mean is you want your banner to be wider than this band. Otherwise, you'll see it. Now, it doesn't have to be too wide as long as it's more than half an inch. So it can be like that. So what you're going to do is draw two straight lines out and then curve the edge. And again, this would be a template. Come down. I think that's too wide. Come down. So you're following the line. That's all you're doing. It's following the line. Coming out. And then you're just going to put a little dot in the centre. And join the points to the centre. So you've just got your banner like that. Now if you're not happy and you think, oh that looks weird. Just draw it again. Use a template. So again, I had a template. I haven't cut mine out. But I did have a template. Don't know where it is. For one that I liked. So if I put that over the top. You'll see it's quite a bit smaller and shorter. But if your card, your card length may determine, like your card width, how big your banner is. So you can see it's going to fit in this one fine. But I may have had to make it a little bit smaller, if not. So we'll just cut that out. We'll go with it. It's going to be too long, but we'll go with it. Just to show you. So there we go. And just come up to the end. And then go in and in. Make sure the card stays together as well because you're cutting two pieces at once. I should have used my smaller scissors. It'd have been a lot easier for this. I like smaller scissors when I'm cutting out. There. So what we'll do is because this is going to go in the card, even though it's super duper long. Look how long that banner is. It's way too big. Mind you, it depends what you want to write. If it's happy anniversary, it might be the size you need. So, there we go. So, we've got all our little elements to go inside the card now. So, it's quite simple. My channel is all about the know-how. So, I don't decorate my end cards. Sometimes I do. Um, but, this is just to show you how to do it. So, to put the banner and the card in. So, when this goes in, it's going to fold like that. 
so you may want especially if i've got such a long banner your banner now this bit i like to be quite up high so the first thing you need to do is get these tabs up near the top of the card right so they're going to be up near the top of the card because even though it looks like it's overlapping the card there because it's folded when the card folds it's going to go that way it's going to flop down so you don't want that point to be over the crease of the card this is the crease of the card i'll just make make a mark on it so you can see it's going to be a bit random probably not straight but just for a visual there's the center of your card so you do not want the point to go over the center of the heart you want these to be up high these two tabs to be up high and then it's up to you on how much angle you want so if you want them to be really quite laid down when the cards open you come wide if you want them to be more upright you go back so just remember don't come over the top of the card and it's up to you how you want them to go now if it's wide like that the fall is there and if it's steep like that the fall is there but the point is no good so you'd have to come out and then go like that so if you wanted it to be that pointy i'll probably go about there so i'm gonna put this up put these back high away from the front of the card let that fall down and then that point's not over there and this is where I want it to be so I'm just going to hold that in place grab my glue put glue just on this tab like so and then close the card onto it and rub it down then flip it all over to the other side and glue the tab on the other side simple like this rub that one down that's like so. not dry not dry not dry i'm gonna push it that way don't do this because you might crease there i'm just doing it to make the glue take quicker so we've got our hearts in place and now it's on to the banner so we know that when it's shut the heart stops there so i'll stop with it won't interfere with the banner as long as the banner's below that line horizontally roughly okay so we want the banner to go below that it can fold over the top of it it will just fold into the center of it so don't worry it's just that you don't want the towels catching or anything like that so with our little mechanism We've got these two pieces here which are going to go in the centre of the card. So we'll glue those two. Just put glue on these two. You can do one at a time if you want, but I'm going to do them both together. Because I'm a rebel. Smooth out the glue. Just takes quicker if you smooth it out. And it doesn't leave any lumps behind on your card so you, we can clearly see where the center is we're going to come down to there should allow for the tails of your banner what i mean is they come down because the banner's going to sit on there and your tails come down so you don't want your tails going off the edge of the page then just close that up give it a good rub down make sure they're okay and then what we're going to do is these are going to come all the way around let's do it this way these are going to come all the way around and glue there now if i hold that in place and fold this over you'll see that it closes like that anyway so if i push it all to this side and just put you can see that's not straight either oh i tore it oh no oh no might have to put a bit of tape on there i can't believe i did that all right let's so just do that there bit of glue on there And then we can just close our card onto that and what you'll see is you've got that shape there you've got like your little cube if you like so we do the same on this side to try not to tear that and just fold that one back you can check you can fold your card up and go oh that's not the right one you see it's not close enough so make sure you're doing it next to the inch so spread that right out like that 
and then if you put glue on it'll be in the right place so keep the inch hole fold over at the inch just put glue on this end one like so and close the card now like I say if that was cream like this card base you wouldn't notice it with the banner on top you just wouldn't see that mechanism so it's a bit more magical now this has got a fold in it and it needs to keep that fold in there now at this point if you're doing stamping or anything like that or you're adding dies or die cuts make sure you do them now before you glue this on and you can just put glue all across the top of this little floating platform smooth it down and then make sure that that's in now you can do it like this but just make sure it stays straight and obviously with mine it might be a bit wonky because I moved it and rub it down so just slide it in and rub it down and you can see you've got your floating banner and your hearts so when I close it it's miles away which is fine so you can have a smaller card definitely but you'd have to have this a bit closer to the banner but you'd work that one out you can see with mine mine's the same sort of size things and mine goes inside of the banner can you see it does go inside you just don't want it to affect like picking up the tail or anything but it's fine for it to go inside just for you for ease if you do your first one further away to you understand how everything's going then um carry on and have fun so i hope you make some of these guys and thanks for watching see you again soon bye